Hey, what's going on guys? Explorer back here with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to the Atomic Heart uh, DLC 1 Annihilation Instinct release date trailer. That's a mouthful. So, of course, we had always known that there was going to be four DLCs after the main release of Atomic Heart. Uh, if you if you have the Atomic Pass, which then gets you all of this. So, the first trailer came out about four days ago for the first DLC, Annihilation Instinct, and also a release date of the 2nd of August. So, yeah, this is going to be a breakdown as well, just to see uh, of what new can we see. It's only a minute, only about a minute and a half, so it's not going to be too long of a video, but I'm going to try go frame by frame and see what I can notice. And of course, there's probably going to be even more trailers from this, but this is just the current one. It, the only one that's come out. I'll make sure to try update it. But uh, on the 14th of July, I will not be uploading for sh uh, solid two weeks because I will be going on holiday. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get straight into the trailer. 4K, very good. So, first thing I wanted to address is which ending is the canon ending in Atomic Heart. Now, I believe the ending where you fight the twins and then uh, Sechenov's glove, the, the guy inside Sechenov's glove, escapes... I believe to I believe that to be the canon ending since if you look here it looks like the area is in complete ruins like maybe this is the tower where we uh where he ended up attacking us and of course you can see the the vending machine Nora is there seems like she might play some kind of part in this as it looks like she's kind of puppeting these weird dolls which, at first I thought they were the original robots, but just, like, burned. But they're obviously not. They're obviously, like, beta versions, maybe. They do look creepy, though. And then we get into the action. So, of course, a uh, new gun reveal. New, some kind of minigun kind of it does it's not an energy weapon it's it's definitely an ammo gun so it's not an energy gun some kind of new mini gun and also seems to be a new enemy type which i think they have made a trailer on uh these guys can like connect together and like make massive diff like bigger robots which i think you'll see later in the trailer so just a mini gun destroying new melee weapon it seems like some kind of spear of some kind it seems very fast paced the spear as you can see there seems like has a cool animation could maybe be my new favorite melee weapon yep there you go you can see a bit better also i'm not 100 percent sure if uh we will keep any of the weapons we had from the start of the last game i would imagine no it seems like no Seems like we keep all of our power-ups, but maybe not our guns. Maybe we lose our guns temporarily, or... I'm not sure, but... We'll see when it comes out. Or in new trailers. And, of course, another new gun. Uh, an energy crossbow. See, this one is an actual energy weapon. You can see as it charges up, it then takes a bit out of the meter. The meter on the bottom right of the screen. Seems like a uh, pretty sick, and hopefully does voice my complaints with the energy weapons, because my complaints with the energy weapons were, they are so, 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 so weak. Even the railgun, which is like a massive weapon, is extremely weak and underwhelming. I understand since it's infinite ammo, it needs to have that limit, but at least make it a bit better, especially something like the railgun, at least make it a bit better, and it seems like this crossbow, this energy crossbow, might be the answer to those complaints. And, as you can see, this map also further uh, proves my idea that the the bad ending is the cannon ending, as, as you can see here, seems like the facility 
is in complete ruins. Seems very grey, uh, just massive towers, complete darkness, and yeah, it just seems like it's in total disarray. Of course, another new enemy type, I think. Of course, we have uh, some kind of laser, some kind of laser enemy type, if I slow it down. No, slow it down. Yeah, there we go. You can see the enemy, the laser enemy in this, yeah, here. And it seems like there's some kind of invisible object there to it, but it's not very seeable. Maybe like a little drone. And then, of course, again, just complete darkness and just completely lost area of the map. This kind of seems like it's some kind of museum or maybe a main base building. Again, here. It's some kind of little village that's completely destroying. And of course here we can see a better view of the weapon. Kind of seems like a trident. It kind of seems more like a trident. Uh, from the two, the two blades. But yeah. As you can see it's completely destroyed. I think that's either the dummy or the, the robots we see in the game. Can't tell from here. Yeah, and then we just have, it seems like these dummies are going to be our new uh, main enemy that we find around the place. There's nothing here. Of course we have, of course we have Nora again, rocking a sick new, I guess, paint job, new golden wires. So yeah, as Nora said there, there's obviously some kind of story implications with Nora all the time. Yeah, she said she's worried about Sechenov and that something is trying to hurt him. So, I don't know who it is. I would imagine it is, the f it is Charles, the thing in the glove. I don't remember Charles's real name, though. I'm just going to refer to him as Charles. I will replay Atomic Heart, uh, of course, off camera, just so I can remember all the names and combat and stuff before the game, before DLC comes out. Of course, here we have that enemy that I was on about, all of them connecting together to make a massive, massive, like, spider-like creature, kind of like the thing in the forest, kind of like the worm creature in the forest. Kind of like the worm creature in the forest, like I said. And then, just another massive facility. Uh, a slow motion ability. I don't know if that was in the original game. I don't remember. I think it's a new ability. I have to replay the game to remember, but... Hmm. Well, there it goes. I got a massive laser mouth spider. And there we have Granny Zetas, or Zenas, I mean. Granny Zenas, uh, rocket house, whatever. So it seems like she's also going to be in the story, which I'm really happy about, because she was uh, quite important and quite an integral part of the story, as, as, especially the big reveal at the end. She was a very big part of it. She was also just an enjoyable character, so happy to see what they do with her character. Of course, we have some... I don't know if those were normal birds or if those were robot birds. Uh, they look like... Oh, it's those mutated flies. I remember now. The, muta the mutated fly creatures. There seems to be a lot of them. Yeah, damn. There we go. Atomic Heart Annihilation Instinct coming uh, August 2nd, 2023. So, I'm going on holiday on the 14th and I'm going to be coming back on the 28th no not the 20th coming back on around the 30th i'm coming yeah i'm coming back 29th or 30th and then of course as soon as the dlc drops i'll uh, play the dlc so yeah however just do be prepared that i won't be uploading for two weeks just because i'm going on a bit of a family holiday so yeah.
I'm happy though that when I get back, yeah. And of course, there's a new update, new game plus, which it's basically just makes the game like hardcore mode, kind of. Like, of course, there's the Armageddon mode, which is the hardest difficulty, and there's also the uh, there's also going to be the new game plus, which is then makes it even harder. So yeah. So yeah, overall, I think this trailer was uh, really good. It didn't give away too much about the story. It's mostly just to build hype. I think the next trailer that we get will probably talk uh, either gameplay or uh, more about story. Not 100% sure. This one was more of just a release date and to kind of tease a couple things, you know? Like... Oh, it, it teased, uh, just of course, we saw three new weapons, three new robots, which is from what I saw. So, of course, the three new weapons, the minigun, the crossbow. We have So, we have three new weapons in each variant. So, of course, we have the normal ammo, which was the minigun one. We have an electricity gun, which was the crossbow. And then we have a new melee weapon, which was the trident spear twirly thing. And then, of course, we have three new robots. The the BD, which is uh, what I was talking about, the thing about with the trailer here. Let's actually watch it. I haven't even seen this. I've just seen it going around. So, yeah. Seems like they can connect together. So it seems like they'll actually be really hard in battle. So, of course, three new, uh, one new robot that can turn into three different things. Of course, they have the base form, they have this massive robot form, and of course, I think they're also the laser guys. I'm just gonna get a good view on them. Yeah, nothing much in the trailer, just, just the fact that they're... Also, they did add a photo mode, which I do appreciate. Photo modes are always good in games because it can get you. It can get you funny cinematics. It can get you thumbnails. Just anything. So yeah, overall, I think this is a really good trailer. It's really good at build type, and overall, uh, I, I am going to be playing this, and I'm extremely hyped for this. So yeah, if you did enjoy, then do make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of my future content, and of course, make sure to stay safe. And I'll see you all next time. Good. Bye.